Hello everyone, this is Jack Frost with a little update for Silver. Before we get into this, I want to say I am currently doing a gold analysis five times a week with a video like this at the end of each week. If that's something you're interested in, you can use the link in the description below to sign up for that at pureelliotwave.com. Overall price has increased as the alternate Elliott Wave count expects. Elliott Wave first, technical analysis last. On the first weekly chart, Cycle Wave 1 is expected to be over at this low, with Cycle Wave 2 over at this high here. Cycle Wave 3 now expected to pull price lower with Minor Intermediate Wave 3 within Primary Wave 1. For the bigger picture, Super Cycle Wave C is expected to be an impulse, as it is the most common Elliott Wave structure currently within its third Cycle Wave. There is a Elliott channel drawn around Cycle Wave 2 from the beginning of primary wave A to the end of primary wave B with a copy on the end of primary wave A. Cycle wave 3 should break below this Elliott channel. If price does break below this Elliott channel there will be increased confidence in cycle wave 2 being over at this high and cycle wave 3 having begun to pull price lower. Minor wave 3 has a target calculated at 20.57, the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of minor wave 1. Above that, Cycle Wave 3 has a target calculated at 13.89, where it would reach equality in length with Cycle Wave 1. And above that, Super Cycle Wave C has a target calculated at 7.46, the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio of Super Cycle Wave A. There is a channel drawn around current Super Cycle movements, which is expected to provide resistance, having done so for the end of Cycle Wave 2, Intermediate Wave 2, and Minor Wave 2. No corrective movement within Cycle Wave 3 can move above its start at 26.123. On the main daily chart with the end of Primary Wave B within Cycle Wave 2 over here. Cycle Wave 3 beginning at this high, unfolding as an impulse with overlapping first and second waves. Within Primary Wave 1 we have Intermediates Wave 1 and 2 over here. And within Intermediate Wave 3, Minor Waves 1 and 2 over here. Now expecting Minute minor and intermediate wave 3 to pull price lower. Minute wave 2 may continue slightly higher, where it may reach 23.968, the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio of minute wave 1. And within intermediate wave 3, no second wave corrective movement can move above its start at 25.264. A base channel is drawn around the current intermediate movements from the beginning of intermediate wave 1 to the end of intermediate wave 2, with a copy on the end of intermediate wave 1. Intermediate Wave 3 should have enough downward momentum to pull price lower and break through this channel. If this channel is broken to the downside, we will have confidence in Intermediate Wave 2 being over at this high and Intermediate Wave 3 pulling price lower. On the alternate weekly chart, Cycle Wave 2 is labelled over at this low where Cycle Wave 1 was labelled complete on the previous Elliott Wave count. Cycle, Primary, Intermediate, Minor, and Minute Wave 3s to pull price higher. With overlapping third waves at these degrees, it should be unmistakable and should come with increased range and momentum. Cycle Wave 3 has a target calculated at 46.82, the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of Cycle Wave 1. Within that, Primary Wave 3 has a target calculated at 31.12, the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of Primary Wave 1. And no corrective movement within Cycle Wave 3 can move below its start at 19.909. A base channel is drawn around the current primary movements from the beginning of Primary Wave 1 to the end of Primary Wave 2 with a copy on the end of Primary Wave 1. The overlapping third waves at these degrees should have enough power to break through the upper edge of this channel. If that happens we will have confidence in this wave count expecting increased bullish movement. And on the second daily chart, the end of primary wave 2 just over here. Intermediate waves 1 and 2 over here. Minor waves 1 and 2 here. And minute waves 1 and 2 here. For the short term, minute wave 3 is expected to pull price higher with a target calculated at 26.64, the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of minute wave 1. And within minor wave 3, no corrective movement can move below its start at 22.118. Overall price is expected to continue upwards where primary wave 3 should break through resistance here with increased range and momentum. On the technical weekly chart price has consolidated within resistance at 24.5 and support at 22. Volume overall declines with a slight push on some bullish candlesticks. On balance volume has no new range. ADX is declining showing no clear trend with RSI and money flow both neutral and stochastics neutral 
ATR is overall declining with some choppy movement as price consolidates, which is standard movement. And on the technical daily chart, we can see more detail where volume pushes price higher, specifically on the recent candlesticks. On balance, volume continues in a wide range with no signal. ADX declines showing no clear trend. RSI and money flow both neutral. And stochastics neutral and increasing recently entering oversold. Where stochastics entered oversold, price fell short of support at 2.2. And an upward swing may occur towards resistance at 24.5 where price would find resistance and stochastics may enter overboard. I just want to remind everyone that I am doing a gold analysis five times a week with a video at the end of each week. And if that is something you're interested in, you can sign up for that today at pureelliotwave.com. That's all for me with your update for silver. I hope everyone has a good weekend.